percent nitroglycerine dissolve in nitrocellulose. So it's, this this is pure. It's got no solids. It's a pure mm. Alfred Nobel's original dynamite. He then made this other agelic nights, which are have got thirty percent nitro and other salts and things. They kept making blasting gelatin through into the 1900s, definitely, but it was mostly replaced by gel ignites, right. which are cheaper, and they squash and they're more usable. So we're talking about stuff possibly made uh, 100, 120 years ago, stored in this still, quiet, undisturbed state, uh, and, and it's very powerful. Having looked at one before, and we can look at it again this time, this one, mm -hmm. we'll peel it open, I'll peel it open, <laughs> we will see its condition looks perfect. It's just brilliant, with with sticky nitroglycerin all all over the in, inside of the parchment that's, that's wrapped in. So is it? It's not a solid, is it? Is it? It's, it's a gel. Well, it's yeah. like almost like, like silicon, like, like candle. Oh, it's, yeah. rubbery. it's rubbery. It's yeah. rubbery. Yeah, rubbery. You, you, you can bend it, and, and, and uh -huh. it's hard to break. It bends. Yeah. This is unique stuff. The world has got none of this left. <laughs> a unique opportunity. I don't know if it would go bang or not. So the one, I'm going to take the one with me for, for a very clear, we'll write it up, it's a research project. Um, we'll discuss whether the source or anything has got to be included in that, but, but this is, I mean, I've talked to a few blasting people. Everything's just lit up. Will it go bang? So we're going to put a detonator in it uh, back in a, in, a, in a safe place, at a, an explosive place, and uh, just see if it goes bang. I suspect it might. It but was in such good condition, being yeah, kept dry for so will. long. But, but the normal shelf life on the other explosives we've got here with us is like, they say one year, it'll probably go off for about, after about five years or, or so, but that's it. Even gel ignite just gets tired and, and the moisture and stuff attacks the nitrates and it sort of falls <clears> apart <throat> after 10 or 15 years. This is very unique. Our objective was to not really try to handle too much of this stuff. Having said that, it, it, nitroglycerin is not nearly as unstable as people think. If I, if I had some nitro and, and dropped it out of a plane onto a concrete surface, it won't go bang. Now, I've got videos and we've done stuff. Uh, I, in fact, I tore off a small piece of the, of the wrapper last time I was here, uh, twice, tw nice and sticky with what I believe is nitroglycerin, put it on a rock, had a nice big hammer, earmuffs all the gear and went, Whacked it twice hard, couldn't get a crack out of it. That's that's the standard old test for a nitroglycerin that may have seeped into the In cardboard the or whatever. Yeah. I think it's nitro. It smells like a bit like nitro, and I, I know what that smells like. Is it viable? I suspect so. Nitroglycerin does not uh, inherently degrade at all. It'll uh, it should last a hundred years and still remain as a nitroglycerin, being a molecular explosive, which is a single compound. Benzene ring, six carbons, nitrates and things hanging off it. So it's very stable in its own right. So I suspect this is still explosive material. Smell and... Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm about to unwrap this. If, if you want to do that, you'll take both, won't you? Yeah. I'm now about to unwrap it. When I get my... Oh, what do you want from up there? The black uh, rubber gloves. Yep. In, that, in that black thing there. Rubber gloves. Headache material. I'm not, I'm not going to put that on my face. <laughs> what do you reckon on that tree there, Nick? Is okay, that too so close? it's gonna it's gonna lift the deck. Yep. Uh, I was thinking like that tree there. Is that too close? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. This one here. Yeah, too close, Dave. Too yep. close. No. Okay. You, but but go right. out there somewhere. Can strap it on out there somewhere. Yep. Further out. It's got a decent. They got good resolution. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, I'd, I'd be sitting back. Uh, get a bit more of a perspective on it. Yeah, yeah, and, and also yeah, no, so you can get your camera back. That's right there. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you for that. Yep. Yeah, the one. Tie bright. Using rubber gloves because nitroglycerin liquid <laughs> dilates your blood vessels and gives you a splitting, splitting headache immediately. What? Not good for you. It won't make you sick, but it'll give you a headache. Oh, I oh, know you vomit. Yeah. Bleary-eyed vomit. If you are, mm. the, the dirty trick to do with the guy in the mines was just give it a nitro, wipe the, the, uh, wipe the head down with a tiny bit with a dynamite and then put it back. Black put his helmet on, within uh, 20 minutes he goes home. Vomit, blearing headache, can't see, come work. Mm. Just stay away then. So just if you're interested, I'm going to open this up and uh, show you what it looks like. 
But what do you need to set that off? An enormous shock. Oh, or uh, or a, a grinding blow on something gritty. Well, what's the, you see them on the TV with the nitroglycerin and they go like that on the ground and it explodes. That's what's that T stuff or is that just a myth? That's TV, it's crap. Yep, laughing. Nothing like that at all. There you go. Here we go. Look how easy it opens too. How fresh is that? This is good gear. <laughs> this is, you this, love it, mate, don't oh, you? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is different to the other one. That's interesting. What's that more like gel ignite? No, this is more like what I've seen. It's still blasting gelatin, all right? Mm. So it's quite, it's quite um, rubbery and coherent. You know, it's quite hard to, hard to deform. The other one was, was a clear yellow, almost like yellow silicon gel. This one's... It more to decompose? Yeah, this one, this one's, uh, this one may have leached out. A lot of the nitro may have leached out. It, it's quite rubbery. The other one had a lot more oily liquid, which I suspect is nitroglycerin liquid. The ri risk, the risk, I mean, it's very hard to set it off. He was saying if you get the stuff on you, it'll make you sick. Yeah. Give you a headache. So I'm going to wind it up again. And this one will be yeah, stored. Go Have you got it? the other one? Hmm? The You're other developing one? immunity you to still it. still got yeah. the other one? Yeah. No, unfortunately, I, sh I should have brought it. No, I... Is that the only one you've got? Yeah. So I'm hoping for get, get I was expecting to get a get the box and get a get a couple more. That's what I was hoping for. Righto, that's a little lasting. Such a gelatin. tiny one, isn't it, eh? Nobel's Explosive Company Limited. Just say in the middle. Trademark. Alfred Nobel Vasco. Oh, How yeah, about that? So, um, happy for us to put the box basically where Dave's bright knee is. Yeah, yeah. I'm going by your call. Just straight in, straight, straight in. Straight in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, yeah, the more packing it's got around it, the better. Yeah, yeah, well, we've got plenty of stemming here. Yeah. Right, I think we need to call it a day, aren't we? Probably yeah. one of you needs to get, you probably need to get out of there. It's a bit close on yep. the day. So, we're going to push it in and then chase it in. Yeah, yep. chase, chase it in. Yep. You'll have to come out, Dave. Oh, both out? Yeah. yeah. Well, I actually won't get the box in. I won't get the box in. You might make good stemming. Yeah. <laughs> you could do the, you reckon? The, yeah. fam the famous Second World War. You throw yourself on the grenade to save, to save the rest of us. Yeah. 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 It doesn't really care. Oh, it doesn't have to be flat. It doesn't have to be upright. Yep. Yeah. Oh, have we got that? No, the shovel's gone, isn't it? No, no, you're not far up. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you yeah, might need them. Yeah, yeah, the shovel will make it easier to yeah. pack it. Put the stuff back in. Yeah. That'll do, that'll do. Yeah. You hang on with Dave and we'll stem around you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't put it too far in. I want to make sure we blow the front off if we can. That's good there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And now they're stemming the hole. Mm. As best you can, I guess. They're doing a good enough job. Yeah, they're doing a great job. I love the idea of just flashing the door. <laughs> so set up just a bit of deck cord around the entrance and just drop it. <laughs> Very loud noise and nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, poke, poke the detour in inside some of the crevices yeah. and whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not standing up. So how much coverage do you want over the top? As much as you can get. Right. <laughs> Alright, yep. There's a hole just here too, isn't there? Yeah.
smell that was pretty effective spread a lot of loose material caved it in uh, a few meters back surprised it didn't make a lot more noise actually it uh, certainly moved a lot of ground I don't think I want to be digging that out anytime soon Good work Nick There's a lot of rock there Ton, 40 ton of rock there. A lot of dust down there. 